welcome to homeopathic pharmacy academia in this video lecture i am going to discuss about the solid particles cane sugar globules corns and tablets cane sugar is another solid particles used in homeopathic pharmacy the chemical formula is c12 h22 o11 the molecular weight is 342.3 the synonym of cane sugar is saccharum purificatum so the meaning of saccharum is sugar and purificatum is a pure form it is also known as refined sugar the source of cane sugar is saccharum officinarum or cane sugar cane another source of cane sugar is beta vulgaris or any substances which is rich in sugar that is the pineapple coffee honey etc so these are the sources of cane sugar now let us see how to prepare cane sugar cane sugar is prepared by certain processes like extraction of juice so once the sugar cane sugar cane is obtained we should uh, crush it in iron roller mill which gives more than 75 percentage of juice leaving behind the cellulose residue so once the juice is extracted we should purify the juice so here the juice is purified by heating it with lime that is calcium oxide when the most of the impurities uh, will be collected as scum on the top which is removed manually and then the carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide are passed one after another when the calcium will be precipitated as calcium carbonate and the, the sulfur as calcium sulfate the juice is then filtered to remove the precipitate so this calcium carbonate and calcium sulfate will be uh, it is insoluble substances which will be precipitate over the solution so that can be manually removed now after the purification the the juice should be concentrated and it should be under crystallization so it is usually done by uh, uh, boiling under a re reduced pressure and allow it to crystallize after cooling so once it is concentrated and uh, it should be allowed to crystallize uh, under reduced pressure now once it is crystallized we need to separate the crystals so the liquid the solution is now uh, centrifuged uh, in the centrifuge centrifuge machine and once uh, the crystals are the solid part is uh, separated from the liquid part by using uh, the centrifuging machine once the crystals are separated out we should dry the crystals by dropping uh, this crystals in a, a chamber which contains hot air so once the uh, the crystals are dropping in a in a chamber which contains the hot air it it will be dried and we obtain the dried the purified cane sugar so this is how uh, we uh, prepare cane sugar now the properties of cane sugar it is colorless or white crystalline mass 
odorless and sweet in taste it is sweeter than lactose it is stable in air but it is neutral to litmus it is neither acidic nor alkaline the specific gravity is 1.57 optical rotation is 65.9 the solubility of sucrose or cane sugar is 1 gram of sucrose is soluble in 0.5 ml of water in slightly more than 2.2 ml of boiling water and in 170 ml of alcohol and it is practically insoluble in chloroform and ether here we can see the solubility of sucrose or cane sugar is much more than lactose utility cane sugar is used in the preparation of globules pellets and cones it is used to making syrups as it gives more viscosity and consistency to the fluids that is about the cane sugar now let us see the preparation of globules pellules or pellets so these can be used simultaneously as uh, globules pellets or pellets now the size of uh, the difference between the globules and pellets are in homeopathy we generally say the smaller one as globules and the bigger one as pellets the source of globules they are prepared from the pure cane sugar that is a pharmaceutical grade cane sugar or sucrose it is sometimes made with 80% of sucrose and 20% of lactose and this is a instrument known as globule making pan or it can be also called as tablet cutting machine or pill tube the characteristics of globules are it is round in shape globular in shape size varies from 8 to 80 color is white in color odor it is odorless taste it is sweeter than lactose consistency it is neither too soft or nor too hard solubility it is soluble in water but it is insoluble in alcohol the melting point is 160 degree celsius now the utility of uh, globules it can be used to dispense homeopathic potencies as well as placebo and this is a most common commonly used homeopathic vehicle solid vehicle uh, used in dispensing alone it can be used for preservation of homeopathic medicines so the globules impregnated with the homeopathic medicine can be preserved for a long time once uh, it is preserved if it is preserved properly preservation globules are kept in air tight bottles and kept away from the moisture so once if it is exposed to moisture it may melt the globules retain their medicinal value for many years if protected against sunlight and heat so uh, homeop uh, these homeopathic medicines can be preserved for a long time once it is medicated in globules the next solid vehicle is corn the source of corn is cane sugar and egg albumin properties it is conical in shape size by the diameter of the base in millimeter so we can calculate the size of uh, corn by measuring the diameter of this corn diameter of the base of the corn in milli in millimeter so you know corns are pyramidal in shape conical in shape the base will be broader than the apex 
so we need to measure the diameter of the base so the common size of corn is 6 utility it is used for preservation of medicines for long time and it will not spoil uh, because it contains uh, uh, cane sugar as well as egg albumin is more consistent than globules and it will not melt easily as it contains egg albumin and that is the one reason uh, for the medicines are uh, preserved for a long time in globules and it absorbs a very little quantity of of medicines, potentized medicines, uh, because it contains egg albumin. Now, the next uh, important solid molecule is tablets. Tablets are prepared from pure refined sugar of milk. The properties of tablets are shape, it is discoid shape, or it may be round with a flat or a convex face. The size of the globules, it varies from uh, one grain, or two grain, three grain or five grain. Here, one grain means 65 milligram. Consistency, it is softer than globules. The solubility, it is more easily soluble in water than globules. And uh, it is insoluble in alcohol. It is less sweeter than globules. Utility. Tablets serve as a solid dosage form for dispensing homeopathic medicines. And it is very convenient for patients to take tablets rather than liquid dosage forms. So that is, this is the tablet punching machine for a commercial preparation of lactose. And this is about the solid vehicle.